Seed Philly is a, an organization designed to help seed level tech software companies succeed. Is that a extended period of time or is it just like one or two or three workshops? Um, well, well, the goal of it is to do, I spent like a couple of months just teaching them the basics of programming. We're, we're building a, a, a Node.js app. Sports app. Sports app, yeah. Hi, I'm Pat Clark, uh, developer at 1C. Yeah, those are in order. They those were, are, they were, they were in order. those were in order. Like any other entrepreneur, I end up uh, obsessing over my baby. I think like the, you know, sort of like the, the main thing about PhoneGap to remember is that it's, it's there as like a, a set of deva uh, device APIs, right? Thank you. I'm going to hand you a hundred thousand bucks. What would you do? Hire programmers. Hire, yes, hire programmers. He immediately I'm a became thinker. discouraged I'm a because thinker. I said that. Our goal at Seed Philly is to create that blueprint, a hyper local blueprint that is very specific to the tech software startup in the Philly region to understand the problems that they face on a day-to-day -day basis and to organize the community so that we can all help each other collectively solve those problems. So we capture uh, audio, video feeds and uh, through your smartphone. On Google Analytics, we've got about 47% of our users from outside of the U.S. It's only 40. What's the monthly kind of numbers right now? We're, we're averaging in uniques about 50 or 60,000. Wow, that's really good. And um, we've had over 2 million page views. We've had, uh, um, like I said, we've got 30,000 where uh, we just broke 30,000 users. And, you know, I think by the end of the year, we should hit about 250,000 at least. Wow. That's our goal. We're progressively growing faster and faster. We're looking for a, a very specific type of entrepreneur and one who's willing to, to realize that they don't have every, every possible skill. And we do have all of those skills collectively within the community and people are willing to share that knowledge. So we need to find those entrepreneurs who are willing to accept some mentoring. How's it going? We're trying to do a follow-up to Startup PA's uh, meeting and we're uh, bringing a couple of folks on from around the state and um, you know we're trying to just ch test the technology so we can collaborate. They basically have a mobile app that allows our clients to order town car services on demand. Um, you don't need cash, it's all credit card, you know, basically you sign up, your credit card's on file, press a button, the town car's there in a few minutes. So, um, you know, launched in San Francisco is our headquarters, but my job is to launch new cities for, for the company, so coming to Philadelphia now, we're in about 10 cities, um, launching Hong Kong right now, London. Six months from now, I hope to see Philadelphia as a very different community, better organized, better access to capital, better access to mentors, more engaged and collaborative community. Every, every startup, every entrepreneur faces problems, faces issues, faces frustrations on a daily life, and uh, it can get really hard to the point where you almost want to throw in the towel some days. Have you ever experienced anything like that in the past three years? If you have, what are some of the most memorable moments of frustration that really you wanted to pull your hair out and scream? Burdens of financing and the burdens of um, relying on other people that are volunteering. You can't force people who are yeah. volunteering to necessarily you know, come through faster or, or what have you, and th that fine line. It can be very frustrating managing these um, new paths. Like we talked about, these, a lot of areas are new to me. I have not necessarily done the development of any of these things before. this is my baby and you all owe me. <laughs> if you put that on camera, I'll kill you. <laughs>